Good kitten internet, and welcome back to Let's Play Vandal Hearts, Sega Saturn, pardon me, Sega Saturn version. Um, this is probably going to be the last video in the series, by virtue of the fact that we're pretty, there, there's three battles left. Um, not really much else to do, other than a couple of Let's Analyze at the end, but I'm probably going to wait on the Let's Analyze for another time, just because I want to get through this. So, uh, we are off to the vault. Isin is still randomly crying. Um, this is recorded the same day as the previous video, for reference. Ooh. A lot of ranged attackers and flyers. In fact, only ranged attackers and flyers. And I have a bunch of boxes in the way. Interesting. So the boxes are presumably being used to block against the ranged attackers. Which would be a problem if it, you know. Oh, I can't kill everything on the map because there's no magic users. So I'm going to have to be a little careful. But I can absolutely pull off one... <clears throat> totally awesome thing. Oh, Ash is going to stand here. And P-Wave. Imagine how much easier this would be if I had decided that I was just going to... Um, which we'll kill everything and not bother to get the treasure. So we're going to need to make sure we keep at least one of those ranged attackers alive. That shouldn't be too bad. Mm, the problem is, who do I put for the other one? Oh, I should have stuck Dolan there. You know what? I'm going to do that. Hold on. Load from the beginning. We're going to do that right. Because Dolan can actually be useful this battle, so we're going to make him useful. I am fast forwarding, but well, spell effects are slow to begin with, so fast forward doesn't do much. So it goes with you all, because I didn't ask that last video, and that's unfortunate for me. Um, let's see, I mean, it's been all of like 30 minutes since the last time I started recording, so not much has changed. Shocking no one. Ah. I just realized that I can't attack with my ranged units. Because they don't have long enough range, do they? Nope, it is one off. Uh, maybe I should have moved Ash one more further closer. Well, Neil and I. <sighs> if I was slightly closer, I'd be able to get both of those archers. We're going to focus on the archer on the right, then. This isn't going to do a huge amount of damage, but it's going to be something, at least. But unfortunately, my spells just don't keep up because there's a level variable somewhere in spell resistance, which I am going to figure out. But I may end up doing this on the PS1 version of the game. So I've taken a quick glance through the save files, and they're a lot more convoluted for the Saturn version than the PS1 version, so... Don't know what I'm going to do. I may end up using save states to edit things, since I know how to make that work. Yep, let's drag into the front row. That, I think, is enough damage? Might not be. Yeah, it is. Okay. Also, what is this music? I don't know. I believe the appropriate phrase is, I cannot even. Here. 
is fine. Let's pull up a perfect guard. A Dolan. He's going to be attacked. Probably. Boop, 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 boop. And Grog, go ahead and move up a little bit. And that's for turn one. Oh, everybody's moving toward me. That actually helps quite a bit. It might be because I hit everyone. That will block. It's perfect guard. Perfect guard's down. I'll block because you're attacking my front. My front's not down, though. Maybe I'll just stay here for the combat. Did anger everybody. That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's take that strategy. Okay, you can't get through front line, so that's fine. Items on Ash. Why did I even bother? Oh, that's how I turned it blue, apparently. Cool. Let's wait. Holy crap! Dolan got to. Oh, never mind. <sighs> we briefly had a moment where Dolan could have done something. for me to, you know, do something about this. Get rid of that blood bat. Bonk. Stolen. Please be useful for once. Are you kidding me, game? And paralyzed. Cool. would like to leave one of the eggs alive. Eggworms. Rather than leaving the bugaboos. Because the bugaboos can poison, and I don't like that. You know I'm risking a little bit when it comes to having flyers out. But honestly, I think the game's easy enough now where it's not that big of a deal. No enemy flyers left, so I don't have to worry about getting attacked from behind. Sucks. I feel bad for Dolan, and just in case if Dolan gets attacked a whole bunch. He is paralyzed, after all. I don't think he will be. I think they've got better targets, but, you know, just in case. Far away. 
Is Zohar too far away? Probably. No. I would like to spellbind. It's not guaranteed by any means, but I'd like to. That's okay. All right. What are the bugaboos going to do? Yeah, they're all going to target Eamon. Eamon can take three hits. He's fine. Even if he's poisoned, he would have been fine. First and foremost. Let's heal up Eamon. Next up. Sup. Pizza time. Aww. It wasn't pizza time. I'd actually rather be here. You're dead. Dylan I? Can you be not useless? I mean, Dolan can't. He's paralyzed. I mean, I guess he was useful for taking a hit, but eh. This? So hard? So one of the things I do want to test out, um, assuming I can figure out how to edit levels, is to see if resistance to spellbind is affected by level. So like for instance, this should be an enemy that would be relatively normal. There you go. Good, now Ash can go running down this way. How do I wanna kill this one? Explosion? Wait, no, we have spells for this. Like, the new spells. Like Apollo. Or double impact. Uh, double impact isn't single target. Um, Astral P? Uh, Astral Fire? Uh, pink. Let's go with a skull attack. Why not? Even if it doesn't kill them, we're fine. Killer Skeleton! Oh no, there's a skull right behind you, Bugaboo! Chomp! Goodbye. <laughs> Just gone. And nobody else matters. Oh, we know. Darius matters. All the fast people are up front, so we're fine. It's going to be another turn, it looks like. Also, notice that Dolan is still paralyzed. Poor Dolan. You paralyze one of us, we paralyze one of you. See? Also, the box has changed colors again. What the heck? <clears throat> it's gotta be like a spell effect is using that color of palette. Maybe the skull? I didn't notice it this time. All right, what weird item do we have this time? Chicken? The Nagoya chicken. Okay. One's gonna have Dolan attack, but he's still paralyzed. You know what? Heal and I. Whack him. Problem solved. And we're done. The Nagoya chicken. Why does that sound familiar? That was an easy battle. 
it was interesting in theory. If I was able, like, if that was a, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, trial battle, that would have been more interesting in my mind. Oh yeah, I wanted to check the Nagoya chicken. A delicious dish. Okay. Oh, I got nothing. Let's go to Deserts and Idols. Or Desert and Idols. Ugh. Is that a Sphinx? Yeah, it's supposed to be a Sphinx. Also, that's a lot of gold golems. Okay. Honestly, Ash could solo this. P wave to weaken them up. Hmm. That's not gonna work. Well, I guess then we get to see what happens when we don't get the treasure. I'm assuming we can't get it. Okay, P wave is not the correct option. <laughs> I thought they didn't take full damage from P-Wave. Maybe that's the just Guardians? Magic resistance does seem to be based off of other things, but that was the shortest battle of the game possible. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess there could have been one enemy. Um, there's The trial with the Mimics would have technically been a shorter battle. But now we get to see what happens. Yep, it's gone forever. So, nope, we're not doing that. Let's try that again. This time with less destruction. I want all of the special treasures. Does it get me anything? No. All right, we cannot P wave this battle. It's our first challenging battle, folks. It's not actually that challenging. I mean, what else is Hask going to do, right? For once, we actually need our mages. I mean, archers are always helpful in this. And flyers are helpful. Sarah counts as a mage for this purpose. Our flyers are going to be the ones actually trying to get the loot. I'm going to send you around this way. The melee units, on the other hand, not going to be very useful this battle. be honest. Again, I could do this entire battle with just Ash, but why? I don't have to. None of them are moving. Oh, it's going to take forever to climb up. And I, I can only hit two with a salamander. Not worth. What's your movement, anyway? Yeah, you can attack you and I, but I don't care. She's got perfect guard up. Okay, I do 92 with Kira. Seventy-eight with Diego. Okay. No, 
I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Large field effect, but not infinite. What do I got for that? Salamander, obviously. I don't want salamander, though. Dragon Fang. Pretty sure that's just salamander, though. So that's something that I should test out at some point. You know what? Now's a good time to test things out. Hold on a moment. Let's do some testing. Why not? It's my video. I can do what I want. Okay. Let's get a baseline with Salamander. Salamander's going to hit two, I believe. Hundred and eighteen. Oh, not beginning. Why do I always think it's the other option? Back up ram. In battle save. Ash. All the way up. Dragon Fang. Oh, it's a different area of effect. I didn't even notice. Well, I can't do that then. And the reason why I can't do that specifically is because there's not any... I can't hit the one that's not partially damaged. That's not undamaged. There we go. So, Rolling Thunder. Can't afford Frost Dragons, unfortunately, because that would be perfect. Double impact. Can I? I can hit both of those. That'll work. Chum chunk. Chum chunk. There we go. Let's move the silly way. Because he's going to be the one. Well, he's not going to be attacked because they can't reach anymore. And I can't reach them, so it's irrelevant. Darius, you're going way out here. Amen. Similar. Just move up. It's kind of, it might not be irrelevant for the duelists. On the other hand, Dolan's always gonna be irrelevant. Uh, we're Dolan. Wait, are they just not going to move? Okay, good. They move when I attack them, at least. <sighs> I still can't get Dolan to attack that. Well, Gog, Grog, words, words are hard. Gog is a gaming service. Oh, now I can test. I mean, I don't remember the damage anymore, but I can definitely hit a lot of enemies, so let's go. It does more. Good to know. Because that's a lot of damage, actually. Good 
Good job. Sally. And that'll finish off a huge number of them. You can see the red from the game coming up on my face, too. That's kind of fun. This is the thing that's kind of unfair about this battle, is that I can hit them before they could ever hit me because of how slow they are. But this battle would be a reasonably good battle for testing things out in, now that I'm thinking about it, because it's a bunch of high hit point characters. And if you're not testing out magic, it's fine for... Um, armor units are fine for testing out because they're strong against everything except magic. All right, now that I've pissed off, well, there's not too many left that are actually pissed off. Like what, two? Three. Yeah, they're not moving until I attack them. That's kind of dumb. Honestly, it's probably better for me to just rush to the top. Give Ash some more MP because why not? <laughs> That's a sound effect for charging, right? Will be one not targeted. Perfect. Let's get some fang. And not the corporation group. I'm glad Eel and I is becoming useful for one battle. Unlike Dolan, who I should just... <sighs> Dolan. I just should ignore his existence. I mean, at least Eel and I has gobs of man magic, so she's useful in the normal game, but in all the post content or anything... At the end of the game, it's like, why bother? Uh, I need to check something really fast. I have a notification. Hmm, okay, so there's one left. Who is injured? Yes. But cannot reach anybody this turn. Good. So I can grab... Honestly. Why bother? <laughs> Alright. What are you? It's a kitty! Fox mask. Okay. And piece de resistance. Die. And that's the actual end of this battle. Bloop, bloop.
I wonder why they keep having battles that are just 18. All right, we only have one more of these, so let's go ahead and save. And check to see what it says about the fox mask. I was hoping it was a kitty, but fox mask probably makes more sense. Fox mask. A mysterious mask. Okay. Judgment! Hopefully this will be an actual challenge. did like how I couldn't use... Oh, right. I'm, this I've actually seen this. So it actually says things. It says Raymax. I don't know what Raymax indicates in this case. But it's Skelly Bros and some Acid Ghosts. Not exactly thrilling. That's just P-Wave. Get everybody weak. Yes. Dropping everybody to half. Exactly half. I wonder how... Well, it might be because Ash is the same level as everybody no matter what. That might be why it's half. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Can Dolan hit something? Can Dolan hit something? It looks like Dolan might be able to hit something. Folks, we might see Dolan being useful. Holy crap, he was useful once. Good job, Dolan. them. More melee units. Sarah's whatever unit I want her to be. Um, ranged units. Be nice if we can get that ghost, but we can't. So let's settle for that archer. Actually, if I can, I'd rather get closer. It's not as ideal. I might not kill them, but now yeah, I still kill them. Also, why do skeletons have blood? I'd really like to know the answer to that question. And then this skelly bro, you're lying to there. This music does not fit this game. This sounds like the triumphant end game music of a JRPG, like a regular non-strategy JRPG. wrong. It's not bad music. It just doesn't fit. That skeleton will be able to do something. Probably die on the crackback. Yep. Didn't actually end up doing anything. That skeleton can do something. Will definitely die on the crackback. Or not. Mm, impressive. Not who I would have attacked, but sure. They were right next to a squishy mage, which they're strong against. Okay, now this is going to be the hard part. I need to make sure I don't kill everybody this turn. Because I am one square away. So we are going to use that weird spell, Sweet Dream. And try to paralyze everybody that's remaining. I should have moved first. That would have made more sense. I only need one paralyzed, so I'm fine now. Be nice if all of them are paralyzed. Yeah. Okay. Well, that just became a lot easier.
Okay. Uh, yeah. Nobody else really matters. So you know what, Dolan? We're gonna try to get you to do more than one attack this battle. I know it's completely unheard of. Let's get rid of the flyer. They're the scarier one of the rest of these. Alright, and the item, the final item is... Seal? Beru? Not familiar. Alright, Dolan, do your thing. Nice. Good job. Time to say goodbye to Ray Max, and goodbye to Vandal Hearts, actually. Makes me wonder what's after this. Let's find out. Together because we are done because we won we won everything also a really simple battle i was expecting more from judgment but meh we are supermaster Whose fan brace would that be? Presumably it's supposed to be Ashes, but it doesn't match his arm. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I always like hearing the ocarina in this game. Oh, that means we don't get to see the description of this. Just stunned on me. Hmm. Nothing. All right. What? Game just lock up at this point? Because we are Supermaster? Apparently, we are Supermaster. Well, uh, yeah. It's nothing else, because the game appears to be completely... Oh. Ah, it resets. Okay, well, that was Vandal Hearts. Um, for anybody watching this in the future, let me know if there's anything that you want me to test out because I have all of these saves. I will upload these saves someplace on my website. Um, and hopefully remember to link them into the description below. There's a lot of saves involved. I hope you have enjoyed this internet and yeah. See you next game. Bye. Oh yes. I am sad that I couldn't see It'd be nice if I was able to control this battle. Just put it that way. 28. They're all level 29 characters. Why are they doing so little damage? I know why. It's because of their equipment. I mean, Kira only doing 68 with a height bonus. Dark Hurricane going on, where it hits both of them. Which has to mean that the game must have a way of toggling who's on your team and who's not for each enemy, because everyone can hit everyone else. Either that or else there's a free-for-all option somewhere. Crimson Swordman, who will almost certainly kill Kira. Wait, who's definitely not gonna be killing Hassan. He does a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but Hassan is, well, Hassan. Giant bat going after the white. White's gonna die. Yep, 
Neil and I casting, you know, her standard Salamander, which she should not be able to cast in that form, may I note. That is unpromoted Neil and I. She cannot cast Salamander unpromoted. The accuracy of the demo. Uh, I'm still fast forwarding, even though it's just a demo. And skeleton attacking Ninja Master Hux, or Monk Master Hux. You can see what Huxley looks like as a monk. I love that attack, though. Frog attacking his brother. Probably can't kill. Nope, not even close. Sun lopping off a good chunk of Grog's head. Dolan going after the Dark Mage. The Dork Mage. And then the game fades out from here, right? No. Zohar casting Avalanche. She's also a spell you can't cast as that class. That's his unpromoted class, I think. Oh, no, that might actually be first promotion, and I think he could cast it. It's not fading out. Oh, it's faded out by now. Huh. Interesting. Maybe the demo goes a little bit longer? Yep, Hux is dead. Moss. Who's gonna plasma wave? Which is also something he doesn't have normally. Wipes out so many of them. Huh. Wonder if it's time-based then because I fast-forwarded it went longer. Anyway. Bye, Internet.